take some pictures and maybe actually get a few things listed today. We shall see. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Misty. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and I also sell antiques and vintage online in a brick and mortar store when we're able to open. But this is the another start to a vlog. We'll see. We'll see if I can get this throughout the whole day. Um, I am going to, I have some things I need to get packaged up, so I will include that as well. Uh, I need to film a what sold video and I need to finish organizing the shelves that I have brought my inventory. Oh boy, it's going to be a day. So I'm going to go ahead and get on the road and get to the shop and start. This is my first Monday of being completely out of my house and into my brick and mortar. So I'm super excited. So it's a beautiful sunny day. I have a positive attitude today and let's go ahead and get to the shop. Got to the shop and I still have all this stuff to bring in. It's just me today. So I'm going to lug all this stuff inside. Some still some supplies and some packing peanuts and a few boxes and bins of some smaller inventory. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to get set up. All right, so I've got everything. I got my computer out. I got everything set up and I've just written down the things that I have sold on eBay. And I'm going to go ahead and go back in the back room and see I so some of them I know where they're at, but some of them may still be packed away and I have to find. But what I do, I just write down the things that sold. So I look at my computer and I'll go through and see what sold. I write them down on my little list here. And I used to do this when I kept them out in the garage too. But um, I need this Caribbean Soul T. And I know that it's in bin C. Uh, a Polaroid iZone camera. That is in a bin somewhere. The hot dogger, I know where it's at. And I know where the horse print is at. So this is so exciting. My first time pulling the stuff from the shelf and see this bin right here is full of things that I have wrapped up that are things that are listed those mugs are listed those things are listed and I have to figure out where I'm going to put them this little berry pill actually sold too this is just a plate rack and so I've just been using it to put some pictures in so this is the horse print it's just a really cool old horse print in a frame. What I'm doing right now is I am taking items that I brought from home that I've wrapped up and now I'm putting them on the shelf. Now all of the things that I'm putting on the shelf are all things that are actively listed in my eBay store. So I'm just trying to make some some kind of rhyme or reason, some kind of organization to be able to find them quicker. And now I'm just gonna speed it up because this is gonna be quite boring and you don't wanna watch this. So you can still watch it, but it's gonna be sped, sped up a little bit. Alright, I have gathered everything up well and I put all that stuff away that was on the shelf. So I am doing my packaging. This is the first thing and it is a t-shirt that sold in eBay. Yes, I was just as surprised as anybody that I'm actually selling an article of clothing. I got my shirt ready and I'll stick it in this poly mailer. Galen, I guess I should have like turned you around the other way so you could see what I'm doing, but and it weighs nine ounces. So I will go ahead and print off my label for the shirt. The next thing I sold is this iZone camera. I am going to go ahead and wrap it. I have it in this baggie just to protect it from any water or anything like that when it's being shipped. And I, do, I am going to go ahead and wrap it in a layer of bubble wrap just to give it a little bit more protection. 
think a lot of people ask me what are some of the things that they should have if they are going to start reselling. And the number one thing is a postal scale. This will save you a lot of time and a lot of stress and a lot of worry about shipping. You can get them on Amazon. I actually have them linked in my description of the one that I use. And another thing that I love is this big, like industrial, I guess, um, tape dispenser. It's a double one, so it has like regular scotch tape and then packing tape. And it's weighted, so you have no problems just ripping off your tape. And again, I, I, I use, I make my packages pretty. I, I take that into consideration when I'm selling my items, when I'm pricing my items, when I'm sourcing my items, because all of this extra stuff does cost money. I do very economical when I look for things. I buy my tissue paper in bulk. I buy the stickers in bulk. It just makes me happy. It's just something that I enjoy to do. And it makes, for me, it makes packaging a little less painful. So it's not something that you have to do, but it is something that if you do do it, you need to take that consideration with the price of your item. And if it's something that is going to affect the shipping to make it heavier, then I don't do it. I make it as light as I can and um, make sure that the, there's room for that as well. And then I have, this is just a big basket here full of just various things that I use as package toppers. I've got like samples for of makeup that have been sent to me. I have cards, uh, makeup samples, stickers, just little bits and pieces. A lot of the things I picked up from the bins when I was able to go to the bins. And I will just add a little something along with my card. And I also have these, I found these at Goodwill. It was like an 80s game, but they're all these trivia cards. So I'll add a trivia card along with my business card. And then it looks something like that. And I do recycle all the boxes that I get from my own personal eBay and Amazon orders. Any kind of bubble wrap, tissue paper, anything, I do recycle it. I will drop this in here. When I was unwrapping all the stuff that I brought here from home, I saved the paper that I had it wrapped in so I can use it as filler. I always want to make sure that your tape is set all the way down there. I'll get my scale. What I do that helps me remember, because sometimes, where are you at? Sometimes I will forget how much something weighs just by like turning around. So I, I will write it down on the box so I don't forget. This weighs 15.2 ounces, so I will round up to 16 ounces or one pound. And then I will go ahead, I have a tape measure right here that I take measurements and I do write that on the box too. So this is 12, get the length and the width by nine, and then the height by five. And then I'll, we'll go over here and I'll print off the label. I peel off the label, stick it where I'm covering up the uh, where I wrote on it. That box is ready to go. I just pulled up all of my eBay listings, and I just am getting ready to film my what sold video. And you know, my sales were up 17%, but I'll take it. And um, after I get that done, I am. I think I'm going to take some pictures and maybe actually get a few things listed today. We shall see. And I will take you with me and we will we'll test out my new um, photography area and see how we like it because I've not used it yet. Now I am editing my what sold video and getting that ready to go out this afternoon. And so, yeah, I'm going to finish doing that. And look, I'm still remembering to film things for a vlog. Yay, Misty. All right, so I'm going to keep filming. Or no. 
I'm going to keep editing and then I'm going to take some pictures. I think so. video and now I'm going to get something that just sold on eBay and get it packaged up and it was a mug and let me show you what I do with my mugs I'm not, I'm not quite sure I like this setup because it's it's a lot but well let me just show you see I have this little carousel mug rack thing the thing of it is <laughs> and and I have the mugs kind of doubled up but I'm, I'm afraid that they're going to, I'm going to be my normal clumsy self and just kind of whack these into something. Uh, but let's see, I sold this Wachter Bach mug, which is this one right here. This Wachter Bach, made in Spain. So that's, I have another one of these little carousel things. So we'll see, because I have other mugs that are just kind of stacked up. And so I'm going to see how I like this before I go through the motions of getting the other one set up. Look, I wanted to show you. Look what I pulled this out of the trailer. It's this beautiful patriotic Afghan. So that's, that's kind of fun. Okay. Now let's get this baby off to its new home. The way that I like to wrap a mug is I'll lay the, the bubble wrap out, start at the end, lay the mug down on, can't even see, there we go, lay the mug down on its side, and then just roll. I do probably use more bubble wrap than most people, but... I want to make sure that it gets there. So I just kind of, there's no rhyme or reason to how much I use. I just kind of get a good feel of what feels right to me. The thing about the tissue paper too, is it does give, also gives it a little bit more padding as well. So I just kind of wrap it up like that. Okay, wrap. so now I think one thing that I'm going to do is someone had mentioned that they wanted to see the window, the windows of the shop. And they're, I mean, this window right here has not been touched since we took the Christmas stuff down. Um, I, so it's just kind of as is. And then I have the window right here is pretty sparse. I've not even been doing anything with the windows. Uh, you know, we're not open. I have some cool things in here that I could be listing. I, so and it's mainly big things that are in here. I've taken out kind of the, the little things, but in this front window, I'm going to go outside for a few minutes too. In this front window, it's such a nice day. There's the courthouse. In this front window here, it's really plain. I do have these really fun playground spring guys that I need to list on um, like Facebook Marketplace or eBay local pickup, but you know, with the way things are right now, I probably won't be doing that. I have an old croquet set, this old red bike, that Coca-Cola button is my husband's, and I have some light fixtures up there. So it's like, it's really, really plain. And you can see over here is still, pretty sparse. I haven't really focused on the windows at all and I won't be. Uh, but yeah, there is this window here. These like this Tonka tanker and that really cool, um, railroad lantern. I have $173 on it. So some of these things I need to list online, like the car lamps and that, I don't even know what that is. It's some sort of a, it says it's Westinghouse precision battery charger. It looks very steampunk. It's so heavy though. It's so, so heavy. Then I have these automobile lights down here and all of those planes, those wooden planes, 
woodworking tools. I need to list those. So I do have some neat things in here, but I've not really even thought about what to do with the windows. And because I mean, look, it's just, I just have things everywhere. So I wanted to show the windows real quick and now I'm going to go ahead and take a few pictures and um, maybe get at least three or four things listed today. We'll see. So um, I'm gonna walk around and pick a few things to list. Walking around deciding a couple things that I'm going to list and one of the things is going to be this vintage glass sconce. Uh, I, these are the kinds of things that I'm really curious to see how well I can sell them for online. So that's going to be one thing. I'll go ahead and put it up there. And I'm probably, I'm going to list, I've been selling this, these, um, doorknobs in this vintage hardware. So I think, ugh. Like these hinges here and these, these lock mechanisms themselves with these really beautiful brass. Look at the patina on there. Door knobs. I thought I had more hinges, hinges than this. This is like for a screen door, I think. Maybe I should go back and grab a couple tools too. Okay, so I think I'm going to, let's do these three, and I'm going to try a couple of these old tools, because I have so many of them. So, um, 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 how about, what are these? Do they have names on them? They need to have a name on them so I can look them up. Like this says Westcott. That's a Westcott wrench, and it's a 10 inch, maybe. These are, I know, are blacksmithing tools in here. I know that those are blacksmith tools. Hey, look, there's another little tire. I like that tire. I have to. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna, we'll take this guy, this wrench guy, and these little hand saws here, they, um, they have a name on them too, I believe, in there. So we'll, we'll see. I'll look this up too and see if that's going to be something that I, I'm going to have to be careful carrying this saw around or I'm going to stab myself with it. Let's, let's stay, let's stay on task. So I got that one light fixture and then I'm going to grab these. These are, I think, motorcycle or auto, some sort of auto lamps. And I have tons of this kind of stuff. So this is the stuff that I'm excited that I can just grab off of the shelf here and just start listing. So I'm going to set these on the other side of the computer. And then we will look them up and I will show you how I do that. Now, this isn't the most brilliant setup that you're going to be able to see my screen, but I'll at least talk you through it. The first thing I'm going to look up is this wrench. I think this is a wrench, right? This is a wrench. It is Westcott, and I think that means it's a 10 inch. We'll find out. So what I do to look up a comparable on something is I go to eBay and I will on my laptop. You can do this on your phone too. And that's a whole other way because people's phones are different, but I'm just going to show you on my laptop. And so I'm going to type in Westcott. Uh, well, let's try vintage Westcott wrench. What did I say? 10 inch. 10. And let's just say curved handle. I mean, we're guessing. Okay. So look, well, you probably can't see very well, but 
here, now these are things that are listed. You used to be able to have a setting on eBay where you could just search for sold comps and they've, they've done away with that. You have to check the little box, but we'll talk about that here in a second. So there are some similar ones. This one, and these are listed, and you can see this one is a six inch long. This one is a 10 inch long and it is on an auction. It still has six days left. This one is a buy it now for $29.95. So on this side, on the far left hand side, you will have all these little boxes down here. And then under show only, we want, I want to see sold comps. So let's see. Okay, so one, there was a, an eight inch sold for $5.75 at an auction. 10 inch, which isn't a Westcott, sold for $9.99. Wow, this one, a vintage perfect handle, 10 inch wrench made by HG Smith & Co. sold for $75. Too bad we don't have that one. So I'm not seeing any that are, that's the exact same thing that has sold other than this one that is an eight inch adjustable wrench. So let's go back to, let's unclick the sold and, and look at what's listed. And then you just kind of have to see what other people have listed them for and then kind of either be around that ballpark or less or more or however you want your business model is. We're one, this one's a six inch, so I'm going to not look at that one. This one's an auction, so that's kind of hard to get a, a, a number from. This one, they're asking $29.95 plus shipping. This one, they're asking $18.99 plus shipping. $25 plus shipping, $24 plus shipping, $20. All right, so I'm probably going to start this at probably about the same, and then I'll do best offer. And so I will go ahead and get the listing started and um, I'll make a draft and then I can start taking pictures of it. Some pictures taken and I can't show you that process because I take all of my eBay pictures with my phone and I also film with my phone so I can't do those at the same time. But um, as you can see, I have on my umbrella lights and then my just my plain little foam poster board that I get from Dollar Tree and I just lay the item on there, shoot some pictures of it, and then I can edit them in the eBay app. I can brighten up the pictures. I can crop the pictures. Um, what I do is I download, I download the pictures to my computer. I know that people can do like, there's different ways that you can do it. I just download them to my computer and then I transfer them over to eBay when I, after I've made a draft and, um, you know, just get them listed that way. You know, people do things so differently. So there, I could tell you the way that I do things, but that may not be the best way for you. So you just have to figure it out. This is just what I do. Just telling you what I do. It's not the right way, probably. It's not the wrong way, probably. It's just is what works for me. All right, so now I am getting ready to actually pack it up and call it a day. It's almost 4.30 and I've been here since 9, so I've put in a full day. I've gotten quite a few things done that I wanted to get done and I'm looking forward to coming back tomorrow and doing it all over again. I hope that you enjoyed this little bit of a vlog on the very first day of me being uh, working out of my shop full time and out of my house. So this is kind of a monumental day for me and I wanted to share it with you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want me to continue to do little snippets of videos and vlogs like this, also let me know in the comments. And if you're not subscribed, then you should do that and hit the little bell notification and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. I'm going to be working tomorrow probably doing a display. So I'll take you along with me for that too. And I guess I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.